what is up you guys i missed you so much hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome welcome to andrea phoenix i'm andrea phoenix thank you guys for joining me today if you're new also hit that subscribe button down below become part of the ap squad because we are the best out there and you know you want to be a part of us who wouldn't all right guys back i had to change glasses because there was too much glare and i couldn't really see so i had to change how these ones all right so today we are gonna get into some self-loving goodness because after my freaking breakdown with peds and nursing school it really really broke me down and i needed to just get back to the basics get back to self-love and being happy again and coming out of that funk and really just owning my shit and going for what I need to go for and getting it done. So some self-love today to help you guys out. If you're starting, this is just like a starter package. It's not super in-depth or anything like that. It's just what I feel helps me with self-love and getting back to my confident, on my path, go for the gold self. All right. So get into this with me and let's go. Let's go. So for the first thing I have for you for self-love is to get in tune with yourself. Understand your emotions, the way you feel, um, what situation that you're trying to overcome is. Really get in depth with yourself and what you want and not what others want or their opinions or what they think. It's all about you. So that is exactly where I start is to get in tune with yourself. I talk to myself. I know that sounds weird, but it helps me figure out situations and really come and narrow down to the straight point of what needs to be done. So get in tune with yourself. Be in tune with yourself. Okay, the second one I have for you is focus on what you need and not what you want. What you need and what you want are two completely separate things. So you really need to think about this. If you need to write it down, write it down. But you need to know what you want versus what you need. And what you need, you need to find your healing. You need to find your path and what you want to do or want to accomplish. And what is good for you, yourself, and just you. You kind of have to be selfish within this one. Just know what you need. Okay, guys? Number three, I guess, um, take care of yourself first. Now this is, yes, about self-love and you think like, oh, this is all about taking care of yourself. Yes, it is. But it's a huge point to do self-care just for yourself. So if this means taking time for yourself, getting a nap in for yourself, um, doing your makeup for yourself, or going to exercise for yourself, whatever it may be, make sure that you get some time for yourself, nutrition, sleep, health, forgiveness, whatever it is that you need, take care of yourself first. It definitely starts from within to bring it out and make it better. So number four would be to create boundaries know your boundaries set boundaries for others dealing with yourself just have boundaries you need to learn how to say no to certain things say yes to others um do what's best for you whether it's emotionally physically spiritually whatever it is make sure that you set boundaries so if you know that you're completely overwhelmed with work and they pile more stuff on top um it's okay to say no or like excuse me i need help this is too much i already have enough on my plate set boundaries and learn to say no for the negative things in your life whether it's an influence or a tv show or eating too much food whatever it may be for yourself and for your situation set those boundaries and do what's right for you number five i like to put it as you protect you so you need to do what's best for you and the way that you protect yourself protect your heart protect your mind protect your soul protect uh, i always call them your ear gates and your eye gates like you need to just 
protect yourself um, from all of the negative things and the stressful situations and everything that can really damper your spirit and really put a hurt on your self love. So for me, I need to protect myself in learning how to protect my mouth from saying rude things or being mean or being grouchy with my boyfriend because that was a really bad place. Yes, I am protecting him with my mouth, but I'm also protecting myself and the things that I say because I can't take them back. That's how I protect myself. Also, you need to be able to forgive yourself and to love yourself and basically just protect your own being because yes, if you don't forgive yourself, you're just gonna be beating yourself up over and over and over and that's not protecting yourself. You're actually harming yourself more by beating yourself up beating yourself up over something that you can work through you know like in number one get in tune with yourself and forgive yourself you need to protect yourself protect you hell from you if that what the if that's what the case may be you need to set in motion the protection of you yourself your heart soul mind spirit body everything just protect yourself from others from the ne negativity from everything you gotta you gotta protect bottom line is you do deserve love and respect even if it's just from yourself you need to start within yourself because if you start within you love and respect yourself people will see that and start to love and respect you as well all right for the last one, number six is live with purpose, you guys. For me, this one is like, you know, near and dear to my heart because obviously I'm going into a selfless career and you need to live for yourself. Enjoy life, enjoy what you do, enjoy how you go through this life. There's no need to stress, no need for negativity. Life is way too short to be dealing with bullshit sorry it is it really really is it's way too short and when you live with purpose live for your purpose specifically because i mean this is all about you right this is self-love for yourself so you need to live with purpose with your purpose in mind in heart and be on that path be getting at be getting what get at what you need to be doing and you know you put that energy out put that attraction out in the world and if you give out a positive vibe i guess i don't really like that word but if you put out a positive persona and that is who you are deep down at your core you are a positive person you are you know self-loving yourself taking care of yourself first promoting your health and wealth and wellness and everything live with your purpose at heart because that's how you put that out there and it comes back to you what you put out definitely comes back and I truly feel that because when I was putting out my stress negativity my depression my sadness all of that that's exactly what I got back it may not have been a straight slap in the face of the same shit back but you know I had a constant argue with constant arguments with my boyfriend I constantly felt sad I had no motivation to go work out or take care of myself I live with purpose you're gonna attract what you need and what's best for your life because you're gonna know what you need and the people who need to be around you or need to be in your life are gonna do it and that's exactly how it happens i'm not a person to just let anybody in my bubble or in my space i very much have discernment and can read people quite well and if i don't get a good feeling or energy from you or whatever you want to call it then i'm gonna keep my distance because i don't want that bad negativity whatever in my life in my presence in my aura like no i'm gonna attract what i need and it's definitely not that so if 
you guys have any questions, suggestions, anything else you guys would like to add or comment on or if these will help you. I mean, you don't have to do all six of them. I mean, it would be best, I guess, because they all help me, but I mean, try one or two. You never know what could really help you, where you could be at if you have any issues or questions or you need more in-depth things let me know comment down below and i will help you guys the best that i can i'm not perfect i'm not a psychologist or psychiatrist or any of that i just know what works for me and how i self-love and how i get back to my happy place which i'm at now because i was really down in the dumps in third semester i really was depressed i really broke down i really had the worst like month in my entire life so i just wanted to bring it back to you guys happy healthy this is a great new start a great kickoff um i will be back at you guys with some more videos thank you for your patience i completely appreciate you guys and by the way i passed peds guys i passed even though it was extremely hard i passed i got it through it and i'm happy again i am no longer sad no longer depressed i am feeling myself i am good so get back at me you guys i love you so much and i will see you guys later Mwah.